Hey guys, Biagio here, and I wanted to, uh, again, give something back today for all of the amazing support you guys have shown us. It's really been just incredible. Um, we are, you know, about 16 days into our Kickstarter campaign. We've already raised over $43,000 thanks to all of your help. Um, as you know, we're shooting for 100, and I think that, uh, you know, when you're aiming that high, you have to give back as much as you possibly can. So today, I wanted to share a sneaky little secret uh, that has really been helping us save time on our Kickstarter videos. And uh, as you can tell by the headline, that secret is how to make one camera look like three. Uh, and it's something we've been doing on all of our videos. So um, a little bit of background. If you've seen some of our little update videos, you can see in this one here as I play it, that you know it looks like we have multiple cameras shooting or at least multiple angles. Of course, we don't have the time or the budget to do that. So what we've been taking advantage of is the fact that today's video cameras shoot at a pretty high resolution. You know, even if you have a flip cam, a Flipmino HD, or if you're shooting on a newer, you know, camcorder that shoots 1080p, you get a lot of resolution. And on the web, people are kind of used to looking at things in a slightly smaller window. You don't need to use all of that resolution. Um, and while this sounds very complicated right now, I've made it as simple as possible. I've created a little Final Cut Pro project file for you with a very with one sequence in it, um, and that sequence is called Zoom. So all you need to do is go ahead and open this sequence. It's called Zoom, and pull in your footage as long as you shot it like on a Flipmino HD, really any sort of a HD camera that's shooting, uh, you know, at greater than you know 12, uh, 1280 by 720. Um, or if you're shooting at you know 1920 by 1080, again this will work for just about any newer camcorder or little flip cam or even like the uh, the iPhone, anything you're shooting on. Basically, what this sequence is, is it's a sequence that's set to put out a smaller size file. It's set to put out a file that'll play at uh, let's see what I pull it up here at 640 by 360. Now this will make sense in just one second here. All you need to do to take advantage of this fake multi-cam editing is pull your footage into this project file. So if you have your flip footage or you have you know, your, your uh, EX1 footage or whatever, whatever camera you've shot on, go ahead and pull it into your project and then just drag it into your zoom sequence. Now you're going to get a little question here. There's a chance you're going to question that, that says, do you want to change the sequence settings to match your clip settings? You do not. You want to hit no. Don't do that if that pops up. The reason is, is because we're taking advantage of the fact that a smaller sequence gives you more latitude to zoom around it. Now what will happen is if you go ahead and you double click your, your piece of footage here and you click on your motion tab, you'll see that the, in this case I'm working with 1080p footage. So it has automatically scaled the footage down to 33% in order to fit in this smaller sequence. Well, here is where things get exciting. Let's say I wanted this to be my master shot and I wanted to zoom in. I'm only at 33%, so I can actually come here and I can choose this clip and I can zoom way in without losing any picture quality. I can go all the way up to 100% Whoa, I don't know if I would want to see my face that close uh, under ordinary circumstances, but I can zoom way in and create close-ups. It's really, really easy. Anybody, anybody who's been using Final Cut Pro um, and ever scaled anything get, will get this immediately. So what I basically just did was scale into 70% because this is a, a 1920 by 1080 uh, piece of footage stuck in this magic zoom timeline I made you here. Um, and now the shots would go from a wide to a close-up and say I wanted to now go to jokes close-up it's just as easy to do the same thing I'm just gonna place a cut mark here double click on uh, this shot and uh, you know I can just go ahead and just drag that around and now look I've got another close-up that I pulled by zooming in uh, and if I were to go ahead you know and render a little bit uh, you know watching uh, rendering it's like watching paint dry so I won't uh, won't keep this going for too long but if I were to go ahead say and render that out uh, you, you can see that if I played we're going from a wide to a close-up and you can do that without losing any resolution because you've taken your larger quality file and you've put it into a smaller sequence so if all of that is completely confusing to you just pull your footage into this project and just throw it in your zoom timeline that I made you here and you should be good to go as long as you're shooting with a newer video camera for those of you who are a little bit more savvy with Final Cut Pro this is a 2997 sequence so if you're shooting 24p you'll want to change it to a 24p sequence but uh, that's how Joe and I have been pulling out these seemingly 
seemingly multi-cam shoots and you can do the same thing just by bringing your footage into this project and dumping it into this little zoom timeline. All right, so I hope that was helpful. Um, again, thanks so much for all of your support. I cannot tell you how much it means to us to have 45 days left in this campaign, be at $43,000 already. We really believe we're gonna break $100,000 with your help, and every single penny goes to putting Steve's movie in even more theaters. So again, thank you so much for your support, and we hope this tip helps you with your own projects, whether they're on Kickstarter or video projects or anything you're doing for the web. Please take a look at our Kickstarter project uh, over at uh, dying to do letterman.com forward slash fund will take you right to our, our Kickstarter project. And again, thank you so much for all your support. Dying to do Letterman coming soon to a theater near you. It's up to you.